masyado kang sad kasi hindi enough yung milk mo, you don't get enough support, puyat ka, gutom ka, hindi ka makaihi, ganyan. Kasi Correct. the longer that the, 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 the mother feels the symptoms, the worse the symptoms get. Other kasama, na, nakasamang symptoms nito, uh, yung mga walang gana, kahit na hindi niya kasalanan, he or she feels guilty, nagamot siya. It's, it's very treatable. So, maraming options. Uh, a person who is depressed, most of the time, would not admit that he or she is depressed. So, mas higher ang risk kung hindi tayo magmedicate ng breastfeeding or ng pregnant mother, especially kung suicidal siya. And they are denial. So, ano yung right words to comfort them? Yung na-mention mo, chocolate. Actually, chocolates. As a family member, ano yung mga pwedeng gawin ng, for example, family member or kaibigan, pag may, napapa, pag may mga napapansin tayo ng mga sintomas ng depression sa isang tao, of course, one one uh, one step na pwede natin gawin is to uh, talk to them. Pero paano nga ba yung tamang pag-comfort? Ano yung right words to tell them? Because I know uh, medyo sensitive na tayo when it comes to that matter and as you said doc na people who has depression or who, who, who um parang mga signs and symptoms of depression they are very sensitive and they are denial so ano yung right words to comfort them mm-hmm. para magpa-admit or magpa-consult na talaga sila hindi magpa-admit magpa-consult <laughs> consult mm-hmm. yeah uh, ano uh, so any any approach natin sa kanila oh, tama because a person who is depressed minsan um, most of the time parang they take everything negatively no kasi we have this what we call na cognitive triad so they have a negative view of themselves they have a negative view of the future and a negative view of the environment of or, or the world so negative talaga lahat for them no so ang um, one of the things you can do is of course you have to you have to tell them that you are saying this because you care or because you are concerned no parang yun pa lang yung pang intro mo no oy uh, uh, i'm 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 not saying this because i'm criticizing you no i i'm saying this because i care i'm concerned kasi i've noticed a few changes or I've noticed some changes, no? Kasi dati, masayahin ka. Dati, um, ginagawa mo yung mga fun things or yung mga usual things mo. Pero ngayon, bakit hindi na? Ngayon, parang, or kung workmate naman, napapansin ko, medyo um, bumababa yung performance, no? Is there some is there something wrong? Is there a problem? Yun yung ano natin, no? Um, mas maganda yung ganun. Parang, uy, depressed ka, no? <laughs> Kesa kung ganun, parang medyo attacking siya. So, it's good to ask mga open-ended questions ba na, is there a problem? So, you wait for the person to open up. No? Yan siya, kung wala pa siyang suicidal na tendencies. Kung may napapansin ka na talaga na, uy, ano na siya, nag, 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 nag-voice out na siya na gusto niya mag-suicide. Ganyan, yan siya, emergency na kasi yan. So, um, priority yun. So, hindi na natin hintayin na mag-open up siya sa iyo. If you see signs na na suicidal siya, tell the family or if you are a family member, dalhin talaga siya kaagad sa hospital kasi emergency yun. Yes, ito yan. May difference talaga with with the words, di ba, Dok? Kasi yes. sometimes, hindi natin alam, baka yung words from another person din yung nag ng depression, di ba? It's yeah. one factor, Doc, di ba? Yung mga... Or uh, hindi pa sila aware na may symptoms pala sila na, oh nga, yes. no? Minsan kasi hindi nila napapansin kasi medyo gradual yung ano, mm-hmm. yung progression ng symptoms. So, sometimes parang, oh nga, no? <laughs> Doon pa nila nare-realize na may, may change pala. So, very sensitive talaga. Dapat non-judgmental tayo. Dapat talaga... Um, we are coming from a caring place or we, we, we are concerned talaga of the person para ma-feel naman niya na uh, safe ako mag-open up sa kanya ng ganito na mga matter. Yeah. Kung naman tayo sa ating mga senior citizens or sa ating mga elderly, uh, what is the psychological impact, for example, nitong pandemic sa kanila? Mm-hmm. Especially yung mga 
mga lolo and lola natin ngayon, hindi na natin masyadong nabibisita kasi nga, for example, nasa kabilang munisipyo or nasa kabilang city or nasa kabilang other... Right, nasa kabilang bahay lang. Nasa kabilang bahay lang, di ba? Kasi nga, bawal lumabas yung mga bata. So, restricted na. Tapos itong mga lolo at lola, namimiss nila yung kanilang mga apo. So, paano? Ano pang dapat gawin to comfort them? At ano yung psychological impact naman ng pandemic nito sa kanila ngayon? Oo. So, um, just like mga children and young adults, yung, isol- yung feeling of isolation, no? it's really, it's, it, it has a really big impact sa isang person. No? So, ito pa sila na, syempre, by, ano, by, by law, bawal sila lumabas. So, they really, they, they really, sometimes they feel helpless, no, na um, yung mga, syempre, sa mga elderly, we encourage them Again, just like children, we encourage them to socialize, no? Go out with their friends, do exercise, ganyan. Eh ngayon hindi sila pwede. They cannot do independent things like do the groceries, no? So malaki talaga yung impact kasi yun yung mga activities sana that will help their um cognitive their cognitive ano ba, um status at par, no? Na okay pa yung kanilang brain activity. So kung ganyan, na hindi nila kayang lumab, hindi sila pwedeng lumabas, kung ano yung pwede nila gawin sa bahay, like, um, yun pa rin, connect with family and friends. So, tulungan, turuan natin sila, lolo, lola. Mag-social ano, media, mag-video mag- call, <laughs> mag-zoom. <laughs> phone calls, kung may telephone pa, no? Um, we have to really set a schedule for that. Kasi, yung mga adults, syempre tayo, busy tayo sa work, busy tayo sa ating day-to-day life. Sometimes, we forget ba, no na uy when was the last time i visited grandma grandpa even our parents no we have to we have to set a schedule talaga for that and then um so sa bahay yung mga elderly natin bigyan natin ng mga activities na pwede nila pwede nila gawin no mga crossword puzzles mga ganyan movies no na mga nostalgic movies that will remind them of a time that um feels good no na before of the before the pandemic and also we have to remind them na temporary lang ito no although hindi natin alam kailan mag-end but this is just temporary and um be ano be be kind to the elderly ba um help them with their needs kasi sa age nila it's important sa kanilang um de- uh, sa kanilang age na maka-help eh no kasi di ba with age comes wisdom parang ganyan So sa kanila very important na may nako-contribute sila. Ayaw nila kasi na they feel helpless or wala silang natutulong, no? Pero ngayon, you have to let them understand na sige lang, this is temporary. We you can we can go back to our usual um usual habits before and assure them na if if ever they need anything, they can ask from you kasi Diba, ayaw nilang humingi ng tulong kasi they feel na kaya nila, <laughs> kaya ni, ano nila, it's part of kasi their, their um, age, no? Pero ngayon, i-ano lang, i-reassure lang natin sila na this is temporary. So ngayon, tulungan mo na kita. Pag tapos na yung pandemic, you can do, you can do it on your own, then do it. Lali Even lang. males, actually, mas mahirap mag, mag, ano, mag-diagnose sa males ng depression kasi parang nagde-deny pa sila no yes. so and they are very masculine doc may mga yes. pride yung mga pride nila ayaw nila admit yeah so um yun uh, sana ma-normalize natin yung ano no yung males na mag-share ng emotions kasi ayaw yan, ayaw nila yan feelings feelings yes. ayaw nila yan eh oo so yun i hope i hope na ma-normalize natin yan para mas maraming matulungan paano naman po makakaiwas sa depression may mga pagkain ba na pwedeng kainin para 'di ba pag yung sinasabi natin doc na pag we, when you are sad just eat something sweet like chocolate something uh-huh. nakakaya o makaya ba sa chocolate kakayanin ba ng chocolate yung uh-huh. ano yung pag may depression na talaga okay so um prevention ng depression syempre Um, dapat maganda yung yung def, um, coping mechanisms no hindi yung mga unhealthy na coping mechanisms like denial or yung iba kay inum <laughs> no no yes. mm-hmm. so dapat person will have a healthy or a uh, yung effective na coping mechanism kasi in the long in the long run it will 
just make it worse. Yung na-mention mo chocolate, actually chocolates, uh, rich yan sila in ano, dopamine and serotonin. So actually, yun yung mga um, uh, low na chemicals na, or neurotransmitters sa brain kapag may depression. Although hindi sila enough para mag-treat ng depression, pero that's what we are doing kasi sa depression. No? We are trying to make the serotonin levels normal sa brain. Oo, i-up natin no? para maging normal. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt naman if ganun. Lalo na kung mga PMS, no? yung mga ganyan na may serotonin changes tayo. Pwede, actually. And if you're a sweet tooth and it makes you happy, then go. It's okay. Yeah. No, naman. So, mga serotonin-rich foods natin, yung mga almonds, um, bananas, mga ganyan, avocado, yung mga ganyan. Pwede naman. Pwede. It, it wouldn't hurt naman. But um, it's if it's clinical depression na, it's not enough to eat, to eat lang na yung mga, para supplement lang siya. Pero Dok, how, how about yung mga bawal naman po? Di ba may mga bawal? For example, the coffee. I think para sa mga anxi- may mga anxiety, anxiety. Yeah. bawal siya. So ano pa yung mga dapat iwasan na mga food and drinks po? Oo. Siyempre, mga alcoholic beverages, no? Kasi ang iba, um, kasi ang alcohol parang associated siya with celebration, ba? Pero actually, ang, if you are a depressed person and if you drink alcohol, alcohol will um, amplify the depressed feeling, the depressed mood. It will amplify it. And if the person is suicidal, um, kasi mag, ano siya eh, mag disinhibited siya kapag naka-alcohol. So, if the person is suicidal, then, mas higher ang chance na complete or magiging, ma- ma- magagawa talaga niya yung suicidal act. No? So, better if we avoid alcohol talaga. And, syempre, yung mga smoking and drugs, ganyan. Ang coffee, is, it's, at least studies say na okay siya sa mga depressed, no? And, pero, syempre, sinasabi bawal yun siya sa anxiety kasi, um, namimimik niya yung, ano eh, yung, um, effect ng epinephrine or yung mga adrenaline. So, it could actually make anxiety worse. Uh, yun. So, alcohol, mga drugs, of course, yung mga drugs natin na stimulating drugs, bawat talaga yun. Uh, some people would use drugs to self-medicate depression kasi upper siya eh. So, yung mga down na down, they take drugs para mag-up ang kanilang mood. So, yun. Mga um methamphetamine mga ganyan of course bawal talaga yun um other naman other na mga food or other na mga drinks wala naman actually hindi naman siya masyado natin ni-regulate no especially kung mga depressed person pag binigyan mo pa ng maraming bawal syempre hindi <laughs> bukan poor appetite na nga siya maraming resist pa sila mm-hmm. pa sila so we we just say you eat what makes you happy. It's okay as long as hindi siya bad for you. No, uh, toddlers and kids possible ba na magka depression sila? Yes, possible. Do can we para sa mga taga Davo karon kani pa dito magbisaya basig na ay gusto nga magpa consult sa SPMC psychiatry department. Ano ang mga steps or ano uh, how much yung budget na kailangan nila i prepare? para magpa-check up po sila. Again, ang consultation 50 pesos lang, no? But um kasi ngayon by appointment, by appointment because of the pandemic. So, um they can contact this number for appointment. Um Ma'am Ara will just post it later, but I will mention the number no 09992249783. So, yan yung so, number to Tatawag muna sila para mag-set ng appointment bago sila pumunta. So, pag walang appointment, Doc, hindi nila i Sadly, they're not allowed to enter. Yes. Unless it's an emergency, kung suicidal, um, itatriage sila ng resident on duty or ng doctor on duty. Kasi 24 hours naman may doctor doon. So, 